listeners, it's your boy Raheem the Dream, host of Hood Dreams Radio here on WDRB Media, the voice of the community. On today's episode, I will be giving my mom her flowers and giving you guys an update on what's going on with my mom. I also am going to tell you guys my most embarrassing moment ever to date. Maybe even two moments. It just really depends on how I'm feeling on and if I feel like cracking on myself. But we'll get into that. Also, before getting into the show, I wanted to let you guys know that I do have a YouTube channel. Um, and I would like for you guys to go check it out and subscribe. You'll just need to go to YouTube.com, search Hood Dreams TV. Hood Dreams is H O O D. D-R-E-A-M, Z as in zebra, space TV. Um, all you have to do once you're on my page is just hit subscribe just so you can keep up with me and everything that goes on in my life. Um, all the fun things I do. I, I do a lot of fun stuff, guys. So you definitely want to keep up with me and see what all I do um, because this radio show can't show you guys everything that I do. So make sure that you go and you hit subscribe and also hit that notification bell so you're alerted every time that I uh, post a new video. Um, and also in the event that you would like your business promoted, your event promoted, or you would just like to reach out to me to do business, you can reach out to me on my business email at dreamworld 5 92 at gmail.com. Again, that is dreamworld0592 at gmail.com. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get into it now and uh, talking about my mom. <clears throat> and I want to start by giving you guys an update. Um, right now, she's in the ICU um, at Novant um, fighting the big C word. Yes, you, you guys know what the big C word is. I'm not going to say it out loud, but the C-19 word, that's what she's in there for. Um, she went to the emergency room on October 28th, and she's still currently there. Um, after a couple days of being in there, she did call me, um, and she said that they had told her that she would be in there for like a whole month. And I was like immediately shocked when she had told me that. Because I'm like, dang, that's a long time. So I was really worried. Um, but I knew she was going to be okay. Um, and I was glad that she had her cell phone and that she was conscious and good enough to be able to pick up her phone and FaceTime me. Um, another couple days had gone by and she calls to tell me that her level, um, her levels had went back up. And so... They were planning on sending her home in just a couple of days. So I'm like, wait a minute, what's going on here? First, you was just told a couple of days ago that you're going to have to stay in there for a month. And now you get to come home in a couple of days. I was like, that's nobody but God. So we were excited about that. And so um, I think it was um, the day that she was supposed to come home where she um, called and she told me that her health had declined again. And that she would be in there for now another week. And at this point, my nerves are toe up. Um, I'm like, dang, what's going on? I was like, she just, you know, told she had to stay in there for a month. Then she's told she get to come home in two days. Now she got to stay for a week. I'm just like, I'm tired of this. And I know she is because it's not even me going through it. But um, so, yeah, that was the um report that she had get, um had given me that she would be in there for another week. But again, I'm not worried too much. She's still communicating with me through FaceTime. I'm able to see her. She's talking with me and I can just see it. She looked very tired, but I'm at least excited um knowing that, you know, she hasn't passed away or anything like that. And she's talking to me. So I I'm content with that. Um, But. My most recent um, update is that I had tried calling my mom, but she didn't answer. Um, I tried calling twice um, that day and she didn't answer at all that whole day. And that's not like my mom. Anybody knows me and my mom's relationship. She calls me a thousand times a day. So it's weird that if I call her and she don't return the, my call, then that's I need to be worried. And vice versa with her. She does the same thing. But she didn't return my call. But my little sister, she did return. My little sister called me that night. Um, and she had told me that the nurses had just spoke with my sister. And they were explaining that my mom's health is not looking too good. 
Um, they had advised that she, her breathing is not going good at all. So yeah, her health isn't doing good at all and her breathing isn't doing good at all. Um, that's the last update that I have for the moment, but I am praying for her. And I want to really thank all of my friends on social media who have reached out to me to tell me that they're praying for her and um, just trying to bring good energy around me and keep me in good spirits. Um, I know my mom is going to pull through just fine. I do know that. So I need to stop worrying. Um that's crazy because I say I'm not worried because I know she's going to be fine, but yet I still be worried. That's that faith, you guys. You got to talk about. I I also have that challenge as well. Um, but this is exactly why I say I want to go ahead and give my mom her flowers now because you never know when it's God's time to take someone out of your life. And so I just want to tell you so much, mom, because I... Um, know that you are going to be able to um, make it out of this and listen to uh, this just fine. I want to say thank you so much for being an amazing mom. You are a great, lis a great listener when I need to vent. Like anytime I need to vent, you always are listening um, and giving me your input. Um, you always stick by me no matter what. Always. It, people be talking about me. You always stick by me. Um, and defend me and you never judge me. And I was brought up the right way with good morals and values. And that's all I can ask for. Um, you taught me how to treat people and how to be there for people and how to help homeless people and people that's less fortunate and just how to overall be a good person. And I am an overall good person. I don't have any enemies out here. Anybody that meets me, they probably have good things to say about me. And so you did a great job with raising me. You were strict. I ain't going to even hold you. You were strict. You and my stepdad were strict at times, but... It wasn't bad. Um, back then as a kid, yeah, it may have been a little annoying with all the nagging and fussing, but and and literally all also all literally having to go to church almost every single day between church on Sunday, what was it, prayer on Mondays, Tuesdays and Thursdays was choir rehearsal, Wednesday was Bible study, Friday was a joy night. Uh they had joy night service, and then Saturdays was also sometimes Another choir rehearsal. So, y'all, we was up in the church all the time. But you know what? I'm not even mad at it. I thank you so much. That's what you thought was best. And I can't even be mad at that. Um, I just want to let you know I appreciate you and I love you so much. And I can't wait for you to come home. And this will be pre-recorded so you can listen to it. Um, And I know it's going to put a smile on your face. So, we love you, Ma. Um, From me and all the listeners out there. Hopefully, everyone, we are all touching and agreeing that my mom will um, make a speedy recovery and get to come home. Um, also, guys, her birthday is on November the 8th, so you guys wish her a happy birthday. Um, and if you guys would like to send her any birthday um, monies or donations or anything, you guys can reach out to me on my personal business email again. Um, that is dreamworld0592 at gmail.com. And we'll figure out some kind of like cash app, Zelle or Apple Pay type of situation. Um, but guys, we are about to go to a quick commercial break. Um, but when I return, I will be telling you guys my most embarrassing story. So don't go anywhere. I'll be right back again. I do have a YouTube channel. So here's the perfect time for you to go and pull your phones out or whatnot and go and subscribe to it again. That YouTube channel is Hood Dreams TV. H-O-O-D-D-R-E-A-M-Z as in zebra space TV. Make sure that you hit subscribe. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be alerted when I post videos. All right, guys. So don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. You are listening to Hood Dreams Radio here with your boy Raheem the Dream on WDRB Media, the voice of the community.
All right, welcome back. If you guys are just tuning in from our commercial break, you are listening to me, your boy Raheem the Dream here, host of Hood Dreams Radio on WDRB Media, the voice of the community. Before we went away, I was giving you guys um, a little bit of information and an update on my mom and how she's doing in the hospital, dealing with the big C word. Yeah, you know what that C word is. That's, you know, C-19. And so you guys make sure that you just keep her in her in uh, your prayers um again her birthday is on november the 8th so you guys wish her also a happy birthday and if you guys want to donate her um anything um to her for her birthday or you know just uh send her some money for a card or a get well or anything you guys can reach out to me on my email um that is dreamworld0592 at gmail.com also if you're just tuning in i do have a youtube channel that is hood dreams tv at uh, YouTube. So make sure that you go to YouTube. Make sure you search Hood Dreams TV and Dreams does have a Z in it. And Hood Dreams is also one word. So Hood Dreams Space TV. Make sure you click subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I post new videos. All right. So really quickly, I'm going to give you guys my most important. I'm sorry, not my most important, but my most embarrassing moment. Okay, so this happened about maybe two, no, this was about three years ago. So I don't know, it is really embarrassing. So I had, I had went to a party, we were drinking, we were drinking white, we were drinking brown, we had jello shots, we had uh, gummy worms that were infused in alcohol. And little peach rings infused with alcohol. So I'm I'm literally, and I'm young, I'm in my prom. So I'm sitting here taking it all down, thinking I'm going to be fine. And I was fine. I really was fine. I didn't get home. I didn't throw up or anything. I had no issues. But I got to the barbershop the next morning. It was a Saturday. When I went to the barbershop the next day, I was in the chair getting hot. Like I could just feel it. I'm getting hot. Next thing I know... I throws up while I'm getting my hair cut. Like he has the clippers on my head and everything and I'm throwing up. So yeah, that was my most embarrassing moment. You guys, I think we should be able to laugh at ourselves and I have no problem doing that, but I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. You guys, thank you so much for tuning in and listening. You'll catch me every Thursday at 7:45 PM Eastern standard time. Thanks so much for listening to me here on hood dreams radio on WDRB media, the voice of the community. I represent the ghetto across the world and you represent the hood. Two hands in the sky. I'm scared. Anymore. So take it, take it.